How's it going guys? This is the Lonator and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team Let's Play. Finally we are here for another video on the channel. Because wow, it's been a couple days. I apologize. It's just because work has been kicking me in the ass and I have tried and been trying to get myself ready for school. And my papers are now turned in. So I am officially going to school on September 30th. And I couldn't be more nervous. So yay for me. I get to take my network security technician course in college and I get to enter my student number within the next few days and register online for some sort of thing, master loan agreement or something. I have to pretty much sign my name somewhere. But I just have to do two things and then they'll send me my funds and I'll be able to pay the school and I'll be able to get my tuition money out of the way and I'll be able to settle in. But other than that, things have been pretty much the same. Me spending time with my girlfriend, just uploading, freaking going to work every day, spending my days off in my bed behind me, freaking trying to get as much sleep as possible, which has not been successful. But we are here back for more Mystery Dungeon, and I hope you guys are too. If you guys are excited for today's episode, make sure you hit the hell out of that like button because it's always appreciated. Make sure you subscribe with notifications on so you guys do not not miss out. More Pokemon content coming your way. Now, last episode, we actually took on Articuno, and we finally beat him. And then Absol actually came to our rescue and let us pass. So now we have Guardian beside us. He's not here with us now, but once we get into this cave, we'll find out. So we're going to do that. So I hope you guys are happy that we're back in action, and uh, hopefully I can get a couple of it. Hopefully I can get two videos to you guys every single day. We'll try our best. So we're going to go to Mount Freeze. Let's do our best to reach the peak. Yeah, I don't know why I wasn't reading Bulbasaur's text, but... Probably because I've already seen it. But we have Absol on our team. So Guardian has not that many moves at all. <laughs> he does not have that many moves. He only has... Wait, what level is he? What level is he? Level 20? Okay. Alright, cool. So, we have Guardian, our Absol, with us. This is quite exciting, too. Because I've never had an actual, like, powerful member on our team that can actually help us. It's always been either Elekid, Magnemite, or anything like that. And let me... Let me actually get my clock and turn on my stopwatch. Only reason I do that is to keep track of time when it comes to the recordings. Oh my god, it's a shell gun. Oh my goodness. This is actually pretty scary. We took it out, but it's still a scary mod. We want to be careful. So let's uh, let's keep a lookout. Swap Ooh. Oh, we, we went to level 24. Alright. Hey, do we have any... Do we have any TMs? No, we don't. We probably already lost all of them. Yeah, sorry guys, if I... If I yawn a lot in this video, it's only because I've been, like, super tired from work. Like, today was pretty good because I came back... I came home early at, like... 2 I got off at 2.30 today, 2.30 p.m., which means more recording time, but me and Courtney had to, uh, me and my girlfriend had to run a few errands, so I couldn't get to the recording until later tonight, which is now, and it's like going on like 8 o'clock at night, and I have to be at work at 4 in the morning tomorrow for work, like, that's what that's what time my shift starts, and it's like, bruh, how do you, how do you manage that, like, I'm very happy where we are, don't get me wrong. I get to actually keep track of uploads and stuff like that and bring, trying my best to bring a vi a couple of videos every single day. And that's big one, by the way, before I get into this, that's the biggest pet peeve I have about this game, is that a 100% ac accurate move. Wait, bad weather? Uh, 
That was that was like the most silent sneeze on the planet. Because you guys didn't even hear it. But that's okay. Anyway, oh, we got a little seal. And that's gonna kill. Good stuff. Because we don't need any trouble right now, seal. Seal, seal. Thank God that does no damage. Or else we'd be in trouble. Yeah, so finally we got rid of Articuno. So we can actually progress in this game. Because Articuno, I'm gonna say right now, Articuno bodied us. Like, seriously. Articuno is probably the hardest boss in the entire game. Because I literally couldn't do shit to Articuno. It was so power, it's such a powerful mod against us. Bulbasaur is weak against it. Two times, freaking barring like Gust and Powder Snow it had. So that wasn't fun to deal with. So let's let's find some items first. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to speed up. Oh no. Oh look at how far we're going. <laughs> One I'm I'm by I'm by one of my I'm by one of my teammates. I'm by one of my teammates, and then Absol went the other way, so we have to go chase Absol now to go make sure that Guardian is safe. Oh no! Wow. I cannot believe Absol survived that kill. Swords dancing, Zangus is kill. Let's go. A TM. Uh, taunt. We already have that, and I'm gonna bubble this thing from afar. So can we actually kill this thing? No, we can't. Because we keep missing our attacks. Tell me something else I don't know. I've literally every single time I've been playing this game like off screen to go catch up with our to go catch up with our file, I've literally been missing every single one of my moves. And it's like in game, these moves are a hundred percent accurate. Blast seed and bla insomniscope. I don't know what an insomniscope does. How many floors are there? There's gotta be a butt ton then. There's got to be at least like 15, 16 floors if this is the case. But then again, as Mystery Dungeon progresses, it should get harder to scale um, stages and dungeons. And that's a chime code. Can we actually get this thing without missing? Hallelujah! You never know if you're gonna or not because this game's freaking accuracy on these 100 accurate moves are just so butterscotch. It just astonishes me how every single time I try and go for bubble, and it's an important battle too. I have to, I have to sneeze. Thank you. Anyway, um, so this game is really hard. Like you have to pick the right moves at the right time. You, yeah, there you go. There's another thing that happens. You get hungry, so you constantly have to constantly have to eat apples to make sure you don't freaking oh well then that was a lucky break that was pretty lucky for us to be able to oh my god there's a slacking in here Okay, you're definitely coming behind me because this big ass, this big ass Pokemon is just that is terrifying. You do not want to come face to face with a freaking slacking. That is not fun to deal with. That thing is like really fast too. Like it may have a really big body, but freaking slacking, he is fast.
I don't know if we should be powering through these floors like this without actually thinking. There's more? Yes, I would like to save my adventure because the last time we didn't save, we got screwed over and we had to freaking start all over again from Articuno. Literally, before I'm. Spoiler. Before. Well, not spoiler of the game, but spoiler of what I did before I started recording. I literally was like stuck on Articuno again and I had to freaking beat her again to make sure that I could be, be ready for this recording right now. I challenged. I challenged Articuno like maybe like. Like seven, eight times before I finally beat him. Like that Pokemon needs to get a life, man. Well, this is gonna be fun to try and match for evasiveness when when Bubble already freaking misses like crazy. I'm surprised of how often that hit. What are we gonna see at the peak anyway? I'm really curious to see what we're gonna see. So there's Poke Dollars. Not that we could buy anything with them. Because we so can't. Wow. All of a sudden, all these doors are so easy to find. Please? Yes! We have Dark Stab! Yes! We have Dark Stab now. We have Bite! That is amazing. That's really swell. I love it! I love what I'm seeing. Okay, now we can actually make use of Guardian for once. Because, like, Scratch is like... Bruh. And come on. Like, Scratch has its utility, but Bite is the move he wants to go for. Like, trust me. When you see an Absol, you think of, like, Night Slash, you think of freaking, You freaking think of Dark Pulse and stuff like that. You think of Mega Absol, and then you think of all the Dark Moves he has. Like, you don't think of freaking Scratch or Quick Attack. You think of Dark Moves. I know I do. Like, seriously, like, nobody's gonna pick Scratch over over Dark Type move on Absol. Especially when he has freaking such. so much utility. He can even learn Play Rough. That's a Fairy Type move. Wow. That's the first time that's ever happened. Clearly goes down. So how are we gonna feel this? As so we have two Glalies on the screen. Yeah, I see wind, which means he's gonna go first probably most of the time. Wait! Oh my god! Absol fainted. <laughs> oh, this game is so unforgiving, man. Why is Absol dead already? <sighs> and Bulbasaur's about to make it there too. Well this is fun. Literally every single partner I've had with me have died really, really early. We literally just turned a uh, taught Guardian a freaking awesome dark dark stab move and he dies. I thought he's gonna, I thought Guardian was gonna do putting on a lot more work than that. Oh well. That's fine, I guess. So here we are at the pe at the top of the peak. At least Absol comes with comes with us instead of staying out of the battle like the other partners do. We finally arrived. This is the summit, isn't it? I wonder where Nine Tails is. I don't know. There they are. I've spotted Lowinator. Oh, I see them. Yep. Uh, Al Alakazam. 
It's about time we c c finally caught up to you. It's my boy. It's my guy. Titar. Let's go. My new member on my, my the new my new favorite Pokemon on my channel banner. Oh, I love it. Your fugitive act dragged us all the way out here. Put it down, Char Tyranitar. We can finally settle this things here. I can barely contain myself. I'm itching for a fight. Brute, don't think badly of me. I don't know how to show mercy. No, Anita. I didn't wish for this conclusion, but to, to his fate, the role of the rescue team is to help break peace. We will be able to crush you with every shred of our power. Get them! Wow, they're freaking battling there. Clashing! Yo, that is sick. Seize this at once! Oh, it's Ninetales. Do you give a male voice to this thing? Oh, I've already committed. Ninetales? Whoa, what? Ninetales? That, 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 that's Ninetales? The legend? It was real? Because fighting at once, Alakazam. They are my guests. Tell us, Ninetales. Who was that human who appeared in your legend? No, even, no, even before that. Was, was the legend itself a true event? Depending on your reply, I may have no choice but to eliminate them. Whether, whether they consider my curse to be legend or not, I care not. However, it did happen. Many years ago, I tried to lay a curse on a human. It was it was then, however, that Gardevoir, the human's partner, dashed in. It selfishly bore the f bore the full br uh, full brunt of the curse meant for the human. Then the human did a selfish and cowardly thing. They abandoned Gardevoir and, f and fled. The human eventually became a Pokemon, transformed into a Pokemon. The human, the human lives on. And that human would be who is the human that you speak of? Lowenator. You may relax. It is not you. Just now. What did you say? Lonator is not the Lonator is not the human that appears in the legend is what it said. What? Uh, uh, what's happening to me? I'm too tense up to move. Oh wow, fantastic. Pretty good ending, a pretty good happiness if you save so myself. That's great! I knew that Lonator wasn't involved. I knew it! There's no way the Lonator could do those terrible things. I have another thing to say. It is true that I foretold of the world's balance becoming unstable. However, that human becoming a Pokemon and the world's balance are not linked in any way. The cause of the natural calamity is it exists everywhere. Hey, you! You were wrong! You were b uh, wrong to hound and harass Lonator! Oh, uh, oh, we apologize. We're sorry. We got worked up with that by that Gengar. Huh, no, I suspected Gengar right from the start. Lowenator just doesn't look like the treacherous type. <laughs> if only that were true. But I must, but I must say, uh, you, you are to be com com commended for prevailing through this cruel journey and discovering the truth. I must have Lowenator. <laughs> Excellent, I knew it was right. Huh? Oh, but wait. Then why did Lonator turn into a Pokemon? I understand Lonator isn't a human from that legend. Then how do you explain Lonator becoming a Pokemon? Lonator, who are you? What? The, cr the crowd's heavying! G -g -g Quick! The world's crest is shifting! The natural calamities are worsening! And uh, the shifting of the ground! Uh, it will awaken the beast that, is, that enables, that embodies the ground. The beast that's sunk deep underground. And that enables. Groudon will be awakened! What? Groudon is rising? Groudon? What is that? What's a Groudon? A legendary Pokemon that has been spoken in many only in myths. It is the Pokemon that raised the land masses and created continents. It is said to have taken this take, taken to sleep after catastrophic battles in its arc, in its arch enemy, Kyogre. If Groudon were to get loose, there would be chaos. It must be stopped. We will go. We'll go too. No, you must remain behind. Gordon is far more powerful than any Pokemon you have faced. Leave it to us. Yes, that's how it goes. You will go back to your team base for a well and rest. Don't worry about us. We didn't get our gold rank the easy way. We'll get this job done, and we'll be back before you know it. Fine, we'll have to quell Groudon. Yo, my, my dude Titar is looking broad, my, my dude. He's looking so good.
Yeah, because sue is an actual word. Good shit, Ryan. <sighs> Meanwhile, cleared up of suspicion, Lowenator's team put an end to their long and arduous journey and returned to their welcoming te rescue team base. That's not the end of the game, is it? Meanwhile, back in Pokemon Square. Mm. <laughs> you lot! Why aren't you out of here hunting Lowenator down Lowenator's team? That's easy for you to say. It's too much for us. Uh, they say Lowenator's team has gone way off, way far out there. If we went, the, be the best we could have is maybe the Lapis Cave. I joined the chase, but they fled into Mount Blaze. For the life of me, I can't go in there, and that's where I lost their trail. I'm a grass type, see? Fire doesn't agree with me at all. I don't know what became of Lonator's team after that, but those fugitives to think they would risk Mount Blaze. They've grown up, though. I could keep. I, uh, I can tell you that, I guess he said. Yeah, <laughs> what a spineless lot you are! Tch. You're, s you're so full of big talk. What about your team, Gengar? You should just hang around in the square and don't do a thing. Walk the walk the talk, you guys go. Heh, <laughs> what that picture? Heh, <laughs> our role is to re receive word about Lowenator's demise. Tch, just appointed, just appointed yourself that. Oh my gosh, oh my goodness. Oh, it's Medicam. Medicam, what's the word? Lowenator, Lowenator is, ooh. Oh, finally, we're getting finally rid of Lowenator? No! It's the opposite! Lowenator's back! <laughs> what did you say? Hey! Over there! Lowenator! Th they're back! I really need to find some separate voices for these stupid freaking Pokemon, man. I need to find some voices, man. All my voices are exactly the same. Hi, everyone. We're back. Woo! We finally made it back. We've been gone for so long. It feels kind of nostalgic to be back in the square, Lowenator. Hey, brute. Hey, brute. Hmm, oh, it's you, Gengar. It's been a while. Huh, what's with that smug confidence? Heh, <laughs> maybe. Gengar! Everything you said was completely wrong. Lonator had nothing to do with it. Lonator was innocent. Uh, well, what? Is that true? See what I mean? I don't have any freaking voices for these Pokemon. I'm, I'm such a scrub. I'm trying my best to find fan, find out different voices, but it's super hard. Yep, we met Nine Tails and asked. He isn't. He isn't the human from the legend. We're back because we discovered the truth. Wait a second. You can't be trusted yet. If you're going to make that claim, let's see some proof. P proof? That's right. Some hard evidence. Let's see some proof. Come on out with it. Proof? We don't have any proof. <laughs> it's too bad you don't have proof. You came back to us. And we could get rid. We could get rid of you easier. How convenient and foolish. Now, fellow Pokemon, here's your chance to get rid of Lone Eater. <laughs> What's wrong, everyone? Don't you want to get rid of Lowenator? I, I, I've always believed in Lowenator. You don't fool me. <sighs> oh, I'm out. I was saved by Lowenator's team before. I joined the chase with a heavy heart because of your urging, but I simply can't think of Lowenator being bad in any way. There. Uh, I've heard enough. Too, I believe Lowenator. Yeah, that's right. Who needs proof? Yeah. Everyone. Extra, extra. We got some mail for you guys. Again, what is this? Oh, it looks like a newspaper, doesn't it? Okay, I'll read it aloud. Let's see. Pokemon News Extra. Lowenator Innocent. Lowenator met with Nine Tails under the watchful eye of Alakazam and proved that it had nothing to do with the human and the lich. As a result, Gengar's claims were found to be malicious lies. End. Okay, so I really need to find a voice for Lombre. Because he's like kind of like a Mexican. He kind of looks like a Mexican Lucha Libre with a lily pad on his head. So I'm kinda, I kind of want to go over like a, no, a, a Nacho Libre, a Lucha Libre kind of guy. Oh, you rotten! <clears throat> Run! Stop, you liar! Welcome back, 
back. Yep, it's good to be back. We're back like we promised. I'm so glad. Lunar isn't suspected anymore. Yep, I'm glad too. We won't have to keep running from anyone anymore. Lone Eater, we're both exhausted. I'm going to get some sleep. Our rescue team gets received, revived tomorrow. Let's try and do our best. So I'm assuming this isn't the end, right? The next morning. Well, well that was a pretty impactful episode. But before I do, before I wrap it up, I want to see what happens outside of this place. But first, I want to see what happens next. So let's see what Bulbasaur wants to talk about this time. Good morning, Lonator. Did you sleep well? All right, let's we'll get back into doing rescues. Okay. And look, Pelipper's bringing us mail already. Let's try and do our best like all we always did. Well, looks like we just have more rescues. More rescues. Yep. So looks like we just get to keep on rescuing people and just be the same rescue team that we always been. So, I am going to wrap it up here because this is the first of two episodes I'm recording. So, hopefully we have some fun with the next one. I hope you enjoyed this one, however. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you hit the hell out of that like button. It's, it's always appreciated. I want to thank you guys so much for your support thus far. It's been a great journey. And we're going to keep on going. Hopefully we can actually get some more members of the Low Bros family. I would love to see you guys here. Make sure you subscribe and notifications on so you guys do not miss out. You do not want to miss out a single action. Piece of action, I should say. A Mystery Dungeon and Cloud White. But, I will see you guys tomorrow for more Mystery Dungeon. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. This has been the Lonator. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.